Does baking soda or sodium bicarbonate make mold disappear? In this video, we will share the antifungal properties of baking soda and discuss its potency against domestic mold and mildew. Does baking soda kill mold? The first thing to mention here is that baking soda can be an effective way to prevent mold. How does it do that? Well, sodium bicarbonate is hygroscopic. What does hygroscopic mean? It means that it can absorb water from surrounding objects, like a sponge, making them drier and, as a result, less likely to develop mold. So baking soda can be useful to stop mold growth at early stages before it becomes a source of concern. By simply spraying some soda powder on mold-prone surfaces, you reduce the water supply that mold can consume, and this alone will drastically slow their growth and multiplication. Now, what if mold is already there, and it's too late to prevent it? Can baking soda help get rid of it? The quick answer is yes. Baking soda kills mold by exposing them to a harsh environment that they cannot survive. Is baking soda the best solution for mold? We have said the baking soda kills mold by putting them in an alkaline environment that doesn't support their growth. Now the question is, do all molds die in an alkaline environment? In simple words, baking soda inhibits the growth of 80% of all molds under test. So there are roughly 20% of mold species that baking soda cannot eradicate. On top of that, baking soda tends to be more effective on non-porous surfaces, where it has easy access to the superficial mold roots. In contrast, with a porous material like drywall or concrete, baking soda shows less efficiency as it cannot get deep enough into the pores and reach the mold colonies growing beneath the surface. The result of this is obvious, after cleaning a porous surface, you may think that the job is done and that there is no mold left there. But shortly after that, you will see the mold stains forming again. These are not new mold colonies growing. These are simply the mold spores that baking soda couldn't reach when you were cleaning. They stayed alive and active and kept multiplying until they showed on the surface again. So the bottom line is, baking soda can kill mold, but it is not always the best way to go. There are some cases where you may need stronger detergents to get rid of the mold completely. How to use baking soda to kill mold? Using baking soda to kill mold is quite simple. All you need to do is make some soda powder with water and then apply the solution to the moldy area. Typically, you need a tablespoon of baking soda for every cup of water. Keep this ratio regardless of how much water you want to use. Put both substances in a spray bottle and shake the solution until you make sure the powder is well dissolved in the water. After applying the mixture to the moldy area, leave it there overnight and then use a wet brush or towel to wipe down the surface and clean off any remaining residue. For harder mold stains, you may need to prepare a baking soda paste. For this, you will need a 50-50 solution of baking soda and water. Keep mixing the two substances until you get a cohesive paste. Spread the paste over the mold colony and rub it with a brush. Let everything sit there for 24 to 48 hours, then use a clean towel to wipe off the paste. One more thing to note here is that one intervention may not be enough to remove all the mold you have. You may have to repeat the process several times before you get a satisfactory result. For more information on water damage restoration and mold remediation, please visit our website at dampsolving.com. Thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe for more helpful mold removal solutions. See you next time.